Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Droid Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Goat is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the start, click on this particular icon, go to this particular icon and go for the restart. So once the restart is done, just try launch the game. If the restart is done with the restart and still you are having a lot of issue, then you can try it with the next one. Next one is all about nothing but we need to do a verify integrity of game file. For this we just need to go over here in the game, we need to go to the board over here, just select the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here go to the install it file and from here we have to click on verify integrity of game file. So right now as you can see the game is around 11.41 GB. So when you click on this one what happens is it will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. So for many of the users when they did the verify integrity of game file it did work it for them so you can try with verify integrity of game file so once you're done with this one you can try launch the game and once you launch the game the issue will be completely fixed so this is going to take a little bit of time so let me skip this up and once afterward you can try launch the game so let me close this and it is going to take a little bit of time and you'll be getting the play button try launch the game Next one is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us will be launching the game from Steam which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue. We need to launch the game from the Steam and that is what we have to do. For this we just need to go over here in the game. There is a shortcut, select this one and go further. And also there is a shortcut over here in the file explorer. So right now go over here and right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here we have to go to the install it file and we have to go to the browse now from here as you can see we have to go over here and there is this pc uh, local list d steam library steam apps common go so right now this is the application so try launch the game from here that means from the installation folder and it will be working fine because for many of the users when they launch the game from the installation folder it did work it for them so you can try this out next one is all about we need to run the game as an administrator so I'll be showing you from here itself, just go over here in the game, right click over here and go to show more option, go to properties, go to the compatibility and just click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game. So this is what we have to do. So once you launch the game as an administrator, most probably the issue has to be fixed and even if it's not working, we can try with the next one. That is all about we need to run the game in the compatibility mode so just go over here in the game right click over here and go to show more option go to properties compatibility go over here and run this program in compatibility mode either you can select windows 7 you can set windows 7 and go for apply or you can go for windows 8 and go for apply so this is what we have to do so once you set this up you just need to close this and we have to go back so regarding the verify integrity of game file the game is already validated and successfully validated that is fine with us so just go back and go to the steam and try launching the game next one is all about we can try with the next one that is all about what we need to do is we just need to turn on time time zone and region correct just go over here in the search we have to go to settings go to time time and language go to date and time make sure the time and time zone is correct that is very important go back and also go to the language and region. make sure that the geography has to be correct so if you're from united states you have to select united states if you're from united kingdom you have to select united kingdom if you're from united arab emirates you have to select the respective one so once you set this up you just need to close this and go back and try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard so just click on the play button but you have to keep in mind the moment you are clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tap from the keyboard it worked for many users so you can try this out so this is an important step you just need to press alt and tap together simultaneously when you hit on the play button 
Next one is all about nothing but we need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer, go to this particular folder over here, go to the documents and here you will be able to find the folder on the game, go. So you have to delete the respective folder and once you delete the respective folder, you have to keep in mind, you will be losing all the progressions of the game, but that is fine. Once you delete it, you just need to close this and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we need to launch, we need to do this, we just need to allow the game to window security. So just go over here in the search, we have to go to settings over here. Now we need to do this, we just need to, sorry, not this, just go over here in the search, we need to go for control panel, just go for control panel. From here we have to go to the uh, system and security, we have to go to windows defender firewall. Now go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall. From here we have to keep scrolling down and navigate to G, that is go. So as you can see the code is already added, make sure the private and public should be selected. So if the game is not added, how we can add it by default? So just click on the change settings. We have to go for allow another app, go for browse and from here this PC, go to new volume D, go to steam library, go to steam apps, select common, select the game, now select this one and add it. So I'm getting the error because it's already added. So once you add this, you just need to close this and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we need to unplug all the USB devices. So you might be connected with multiple things, for example, multiple monitors, joystick, Logitech wheels, etc. might be already connected. So that is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue. So just remove everything once you launch the game. If you wanted to continue with the controller, just connect back the controller and try playing the game. And it worked for many users, so you can try this out as well. Next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search. We have to go to system configuration and we need to go to the services and from here we have to go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services and go for apply and go for ok. Those who are watching this that's going to ask you for restart. So those who are watching this go for restart. I'm going to go for exit without a restart. So those who are watching this do a restart once after restart is done try launching the game. Next one is all about we need to disable the steam overlay go over here in the game on the left right click over here and go to the properties make sure this is turned it off if it is turned on you have to turn this off now once you turn this off just close this and we have to launch the game next one is all about we need to type these commands in the launch option and launch the game so just click over here right click over here and go to the properties now go to the launch option the first command is dx11 you can try with dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working Try this to DX12 and try launching the game. So if DX11 or DX12, any one of the things will be working fine. So just try launching the game. And in my knowledge, it worked for many users, so we can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but we have to close all the overlay applications. So just go over here in the start, right click over here and we have to go to the task manager. Right now, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. So when you are launching these kind of games, apart from a game, these things also lend, launch in the background or run in the background, which is causing for crashing issue. So we have to delete or we have to end the task unwanted things. For example, Discord, MSA, Afterburner, Reward Tuner, etc. All these comes under this one. So just select the respective one, select this one and go for end the task. Once you go for end the task, we can try launching the game and that will be working fine as well. Next one is all about nothing but we just need to go for the next one that is run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the search. We have to go over here in the graphics settings. Now from here as you can see this is where the game is already installed. So the game will not be there we have to add it so just go to the browse. Go to this PC. Go to new volume D. Go to steam library. Go to steam apps. Go to common. Select go. Select this one and open and add it. So once you add just go to the option. Make sure this, to, this should be changed into high performance because this has to run on NVIDIA GeForce RTX 1650 Super. So just run, run this on this one. Close this and we have to go back and try launching the game because this is very important because when we run the game on dedicated graphics card that will be working fine because we have to. It is very important step for many users it did work it so you can try this out as well. Next one is all about we need to increase virtual memories just go over here in the search. Go for view advanced system setting, go to the advanced tab, go for setting once again, advanced once again, go for change. Make sure this is uncheck and select the local list where the game is installed, in my case it is D. Now go for custom size, set the value initial size, it is 1.5 times the total RAM. 
and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here go to the calculator so type your ram so my ram is 32 gb and i have to multiply it with 1024 so just type it 1024 and we have to multiply with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so next one is all about we need to try the next one that is all about we have to multiply 32 gb into 1024 multiply with a constant value and the maximum size is 3 so 3 times that is 98304 so just copy this and we have to paste it so once you set this value just close everything and restart is a mandatory afterwards try to launch the game and the issue will be working fine as well next one is all about nothing but we have to update the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the amd so nvidia users go over here select every details like product type product series product operating system that is windows 11 select every details over here and once you select every details over here and go for start search and once you go for start search what happens is as you can see you will be getting these outdated version so 536.99 is the driver version which is released on august 8 2023 so just download this one install restart is a mandatory go to the amd just go over here go to the graphics select these details over here and go for submit so when you go for submit what happens is you will be getting the option over here like this if you are on windows 11 download this one if you are on windows 10 download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game next one is all about we can also try with installing the microsoft visual c++ which worked for many users so just go over here in this link which will be in the description download this one if you are on x64 based one if you are on x86 you can download this one install restart is a mandatory one even after trying with this if the issue still the issue is not there and if you are having the issue you can try with updating the windows just go over here in the search and we have to go to the settings go to windows update over here and just update the windows make sure the windows is up to date once you update the windows to the latest version just close this and try launch the game even after this if still the issue is there and it's not working you can try with uninstalling and reinstalling the game so just go over here right click over here and go to the manage and install the game for reinstalling it back you should be installing back on not on the same local disk you can try change the lock, lock, the position from c to d if, if it is already installed on d try changing back to c so this is what you have to do and these are the possible workaround which can be done when you are having an issue with goat is having crashing issue and all these kind of issues and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye